after the angel and I descended to hell where I saw famous people in hell. I saw philosophers, atheists in hell, Auguste Comte and Denis Diderot, men who questioned the existence of God. I also saw Friedrich Nietzsche, Karl Marx and Charles Darwin, all of whom preferred to believe in their human wisdom rather than the word of God. They did not believe in the truth and criticized God. The demons tormented them, pushing their fire spears into these men. They said, Have we deceived you men of wisdom, what advanced your vain philosophies? The demons mocked these men and threw them into a furnace of fire. King Herod, I saw King Herod sitting in a fire chair, this man was trapped and could not get out of it. He was flailing and it seemed he was taking millions of shocks. King Saul, I also saw King Saul in hell. He suffered so much in the fire that out of his eyes, ears, and mouth came blood. Delilah, I saw a beautiful woman burning in flames. The angel told me, this is Delilah. She screamed like crazy and writhes in pain. Pilate, I also saw Pilate in hell. He repented for having been responsible for Jesus' death and not believing that he is the salvation of the world. Clothing, I saw brothers in hell for sleeping in shorts and sleeveless shirts, others slept in their swimwear and shirts, sisters sleeping in shorts and bra, others in transparent clothes. They were in hell for sleeping in scandalous clothes. Idolatry. The angel took me into the valley of the idolaters. I saw all kinds of idolaters such as worshippers of images of saints, people who worship themselves, idolaters of money, women who idolize their husbands, husbands who idolize their wives, men who idolize their car, their house, their property, their property, their lands, they were all in hell. Strife, I saw Christians in hell making enemies within the church, they have warred against their brethren, they have done enmity, they have quarreled. They have quarreled about the gospel and doctrines. They have quarreled over offices and matters that will lead nowhere. They are in hell asking a chance to reconcile with the brothers. I saw believers in hell for fighting against the brethren of different churches, one attacking the other, reigning in sin and fighting between brethren. I saw believers in hell stirring up arguments within the church. These quarrelsome brethren cause many conflicts. They liked to be against the other brethren and they still quarreled against their shepherd, they caused great strife, all were in hell asking for a chance to ask forgiveness of the people they persecuted. I saw in hell people who caused strife within their congregations, they were instigators, they lived in quarrel with who was better than the other, who was more used, who would take the highest office in the church, who was more blessed financially, who had the best job given by God. These brothers divided the church into parties or clubs of contention, they were in hell repentant of the evil they caused in the bosom of the church. Envy, I saw envious Christians in hell. They were envious because the brothers had a job who renumbered well, had a car and a good house, a good office in the church. These brothers were envious of everything and wished that these brothers did not succeed in their lives. Other brothers in hell were envious that God used that brother more than himself. They wanted to be used just like these brothers but they did not live the word, they did not seek God asking him to be used greatly, they did not want to pay the price to be used. Desiring to be used left envy to taint their hearts. Wrath, I saw Christians in hell who are the because of the wrath, they let the wrath become inflamed, they hurt people with their words offend the brothers, they could not contain themselves when they were criticized, they retaliated and they were explosive. Defamation. I saw Christians in hell who fought to overthrow each other's ministry through gossip, speaking evil of their brother, posting video on the internet to defame his ministry, ruining and destroying his brother's ministry, through a lie on the internet, his brother's ministry lost his credit, his congregation no longer believed in his words, Satan used this Christian to destroy the brother who spoke the truth, now those brothers who scandalize the faithful servants are in hell. I saw Christians in hell who like to insult people, insult, offend, disturb causing moral damage, their actions denounced their actions in society. I saw detracting believers in hell. They were defaming the ministries of other denominations, they disqualified the works of their own brethren, they devalued the humble. 
when a brother left his churches for another denomination, they accused him of being a traitor but he said that this brother who quit of their denomination, they spoke badly, impaired the brother's ministry to where he was going to congregate, their evil tongues caused a great fire. These detractors are in hell. Merciless, I saw believers in hell who had no mercy on the humble, they had money. When a brother was unemployed they asked for financial help they denied, because they had no mercy to help him. Heretics, I saw Christian heretics who practiced apostasies and heresies, they were in hell. Debtors, I saw infidel believers in what they promised to God and to men. I saw Christians defaulting on stores, they owed the banks, their names were like debtors of debts and those who did not pay their neighbor, they were deal breakers, they borrowed and did not pay, they died indebted and they went to hell. Pride, I saw proud believers full of exultation and haughtiness of heart, all are in hell. Murmuring, I saw murmuring believers murmuring against God, against their pastor, against the brethren of the church, against their own family, they never stopped complaining about people, they were in hell. Blaming God, I saw believers who complained about their lives and charged God, because they lived like this they never repented, everything that happened they complained to God, they were never satisfied with what they had, with what God had given, they hated God with their charges, they never pleased God with their deeds and practices, they were all in hell. Grudges, I saw brethren who held grudges in their hearts and did not want to be reconciled with other brethren, stood apart, are irreconcilable, were in hell asking for a chance to walk in holiness. Money, I saw covetous siblings clinging to money, they did not help the needy they died they went to hell and their money stayed on the benches, they wanted a chance to go back to earth and get their money and help those who need it, all these covetous ones were in hell and they took nothing with them. Deceived, I saw foolish Christians who died deceived by the false shepherds, thought to be walking in the truth perished in the way of the lion and went to the hell. Frauds, I saw brothers in hell for deceiving their neighbor, selling fragile goods at an expensive price, lying that their goods are good, their merchandise was defective, causing people to be harmed, these brothers conned people to earn their living by lying, Proverbs 11, 1 1, the false balance is an abomination to the Lord but the righteous weight is his delight. Presumptions, I saw brethren in hell for being presumptuous. They were arrogant. They wanted to be the owners of the truth, they trusted in themselves, they were sure that they would do the work with their wisdom and strategies, cancelling the Holy Spirit, taking the name of Jesus and putting their names, their opinions in the church, expressing their vanities of wise authorities, went beyond their limits, let their egos grow, all were wrong when they spoke of God only they were the owner of reason exposing their excessive pride, they died and are in hell. No affection, I saw believers in hell because they had no affection for their wives and children, felt no affection for their families or for the brothers in the church, their hearts were hard and cold for souls, they are in hell because they have no affection. Once saved always saved error, I was shocked by the number of believers in hell. Yet there are churches that believe that when a soul is converted it is no longer at risk of losing salvation, saved once forever saved. I say if you do not live a life according to the word, you run the risk of losing your salvation. This is a warning so that all may come to renounce the world in order not to lose eternal life, the nature of sin must die to be born a life for Jesus. The angel took my hand and we rushed to earth. On returning to my body I went to pray.